Texas primary, one week from today. That's when voters, of course, will decide which Republicans and Democrats will face off come November this year. One key race for the Democratic primary happens to be the 30th Congressional District. Political reporter Jack Fink here with you this evening to show you who's in the race. Jack? Well, Doug, CBS News reports that during early voting, more than 11,000 Democratic primary ballots have already been cast in the 30th Congressional District. This is now an open seat after Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson announced she's retiring at the end of her term at the end of the year. And there is big money in this race. Nine Democrats are vying to succeed Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, but only one has received her endorsement, State Representative Jasmine Crockett. Crockett's endorsed by Eddie Bernice Johnson. While Johnson has appeared in this ad for Crockett, the candidate says she's also running on her record. I've been named Freshman of the Year by at least three different organizations. I've also been recognized as one of the most effective legislators in Austin, and this all came after one year. Another candidate, Jane Hope Hamilton, has received her own endorsements from Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price, former Dallas Mayor and Ambassador Ron Kirk, and Congressman Mark V.C. of Fort Worth. She points to her political experience. I have worked on the U.S. House Rules Committee. That is the last stop before any bill gets to the House floor. I have worked on the U.S. House Democratic Caucus. That's where Democrats go to align around a, uh, priorities and align around messaging. Federal records show through February 9th, the Democratic candidates have raised nearly $1.3 million. Hamilton has raised the most at more than $377,000, followed by Abel Mulageta, Crockett, and Jessica Mason. But there are also two third party groups that are set to spend more than $1.6 million in TV ads for Crockett in the DFW market. I definitely see Jasmine Crockett as the front runner. Uh, SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson says, despite this, he doesn't believe Crockett will win outright on Tuesday night and will be forced into a runoff. Having nine candidates in the race makes it really difficult for one person to secure 50% of the vote in this first round. And any primary runoff will be held Tuesday, May 24th. There are also six candidates running in the Republican primary, but this seat is all but certain to remain in the Democrats' column in November. Doug?